Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to install Kano OS on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So the issue that's, uh, that people seem to have now is Kano's website does not have the right download for the Pi Zero anymore. Uh, it's kind of, uh, well not outdated, the site's up to date. So I have a file that will work with Berry Boot, so I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our SD card. I've already got mine in here. The max size that you can have for this is a 32 gig card, so I'm going to right click on that. Restore device defaults. Just do a quick format and make sure that it's FAT32. Click OK. Done. And the next thing, and the link will be in the description below for the download, once you extract the file that you've downloaded, you're going to come up with a couple of things here. You're going to have Berry Boot and the Kano OS folder. So I'm going to Go into Berry Boot. I'm going to copy all of these files. And put them on my drive. So you're just going to copy and paste all of those files right onto your drive. And that gives you Berry Boot. And the next thing you're going to do <clears throat> Sorry, I got the camera in the way, it's kind of tough to see. Is you're going to take the Kano folder, go in here, you're going to have an image. So we're going to take that image and I'm going to open up, put in a USB flash drive. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy it right onto the flash drive. Now, once this is done, just to recap, you're going to have the Berry Boot files on your SD card, just copied right over after formatting it, and you're going to have the Kano image on your flash drive, and you're going to need both of these to install it. The one other thing that you'll need is a USB hub uh, because the uh, Pi Zero only has one USB, so you're going to need a hub so that you can plug in the flash drive at the same time as a keyboard and mouse. So let's go over to the Pi Zero and we can go from there. All right, so I have my flash drive plugged in, got my keyboard plugged in, and the SD card is in. So let's go ahead and plug in the Pi Zero, turn it on. So you're going to get the welcome screen. Um, if you have these green lines right here, uh, you would want to click on yes up here to disable overscan. If you do not, just click no. Um, you can do a wired or wireless connection. It really does not matter in this case, only because uh, we're not going to need the internet for anything here to install this. But I'll go ahead and pick a wired connection. Because what it will do is it will set your, or I, I picked a wireless, I'm sorry, it will set your time zone the correct way. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now it's going to ask me to officially connect to that. I'm not going to, simply because we don't need to here. I'm going to click Cancel. And you're going to want this top one, MMC, BLK0, whatever that says there for your card, that's what you're going to want to format. So uh, the second one here is the flash drive, and you do not want to format because that has your image. So we're just going to take that top one, click Format. You don't need to change anything else. And this will take just a minute.
goes through a few steps. And once this finishes, it's going to restart. So it's unmounting boot partition, finishing, and done. So now it would ask you to install an operating system. You can actually go ahead and click cancel, installation complete, press OK to reboot. So we're going to reboot it. Okay, so now you're at this screen. <clears throat> you're going to hold down your, you're gonna put your mouse button over Add OS, but don't click it. You're going to wanna hold down that button. And while you're holding it down, you go to Copy OS from USB Stick. Here's your drive that you put the image on. You're gonna click on that Kano OS, click Open. Now, this is gonna take a couple minutes to copy the file, so we'll come back as soon as that's done. All right, so the file has been copied. It took about two minutes or so. Uh, depending, it could take up to five minutes, don't worry. Um, so now that we have that, we can click X here, or I'm sorry, there you go. It's going to reboot again. And now this time, when Barry Boot comes up, you're going to have an OS here. So you have 10 seconds to pick one. In this case, you only have one anyway. I'm gonna click on boot. You could hear that little noise there. Everything is working so far. And there you have it. Kano OS on a Raspberry Pi Zero. Now this is an older version, I believe it is 2.1, um, but we'll type in my name here, just to go through the setup. See to type start X. Now we can start our setup. Go through here. Uh, we could connect. I'm not going to connect right now. Connect later. Play offline. Test sound. And we have sound. And we're going to skip creating a profile for now. You made it. Now let's make your desktop. This is your profile. Click here to build your character, unlock cool stuff, and track your journey. This is Kano World. Click here to get new apps, build new projects, and connect with friends. This is your taskbar. Click on these buttons to update, change settings, connect, and more. And these are your creative apps, where you make code, art, music, and games. Ready? Let's go! Get to pick your background. Oh, let's pick... Yeah, let's go with this blue. Alright, we like that. Choose the background. And at this point, it's going to load for a minute. And you're now at your Kano desktop. So there you have it. Uh, that is how to install Kano OS 2.1 on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Now, Kano will work on any other Raspberry Pi as well anyway, and newer versions of it. Uh, but 
it's nice being able to do it on the Zero because for some time now people have not been able to and I was able to come across this image for Barry Booth that worked. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.